any grocery <laughs> shopping today. Mm. You probably will. Yes. You'll probably mm. go through a cashier to pay for all of your stuff, but that's in a new store. That's not going to be an option. Yeah, the courts have asked me to please go to the cashier yes. when I'm leaving stores. <laughs> <laughs> little settlement I came to. <laughs> Amazon has a new grocery store in Seattle. It has everything you'd expect. You see, like the baked goods. They got meat. They got produce. They've got uh, that wine that I'm not giving yeah, up. Yeah, I was like, give up right. the wine. You can't go to that section. But when there. you're done, you just walk out. That's it. There's no cashier. There's no cash register. There's no uh, lane to exit. You just go through and walk out the door. There are sensors tracking every single item in there. And, of course, you have to be an Amazon member. Yeah. Uh, so right. it just gets charged to your Amazon so basically account. basically once you yes. walk in. The technology behind this to me is, was fascinating. It's crazy. It's about it. It so you have the sensors that when you pick something up, they have cameras watching everybody. So you do have to be careful. If you ask somebody to maybe grab the big box of cereal at the top, mm. make sure that uh, you are grabbing it because <laughs> that's that's going to get charged to you. Their cameras will see you yeah. jumping <laughs> yeah. up yeah. to the top. <laughs> but um, they also then, for people who maybe like to look at tomatoes or mm -hmm. look at avocados and then put it back because they don't want it, they mm. had to kind of tweak that technology to figure out, okay, did that person buy it? Did that person not? I'm not sure they've tweaked the technology yet for shopping with a three and five year old who yeah. like to touch right. all the things, well, but you know, we, we right. haven't tested it yet. Christian, you cover consumer issues. Yeah. What do you think about this? Is this the future or is this something that really is an Amazon specific type thing? Well, I think most things in technology, right? The pendulum swings in one extreme direction and we perhaps will see some sort of hybrid between yeah. things. I think there's an opportunity here for sure. I mean, as we talk, we're fascinated with the technology side of things. Um, the biggest holdback is what is, what's the cost of this kind of convenience? And yeah. for me right now, the way that Amazon has it set up is they have all their meats packaged, you know, things like that where you want that butcher counter you want that deli counter uh, not so much a thing here I don't yeah. know whether it's environmentally or just the extra stuff that right. just seems a little bit Riley, what so do it's you more of a quick shopping you know? kind of thing like grab and go kind of stuff yeah. what do you think Riley do you like the idea of not having to interact literally with anybody in the store so here's the deal I, I debate about this I'm all about the jobs but I, this fascinates me and I think the reason why it does is because you can kind of get in there and get out so for me I go grocery shopping multiple times and the kids are with me mm -hmm. um, so there are a few stores that I've been to here um, that I love but it's taken me about 30 minutes to get through the line mm -hmm. um, with one other person ahead of me you know maybe yeah. the cashier is a little slow that sort of thing and then when you have younger kids they get impatient mm -hmm. so I would give them a yogurt or something like that you know you teach the kids patience sure. obviously but there's a point so I think it would be something that I would definitely do uh, to go in and check out and, and grab the things that I wanted mm -hmm. and then leave although I would probably feel like I'm stealing stuff not going to the <laughs> cash it would take a few times it to would. get used to it yeah. but I definitely would uh, do it it takes a little training. It's kind of what Amazon has done all uh -huh. throughout. They've uh -huh. trained us to now get ready for everything to come uh -huh. in two days. They're going to train us. Because you wonder, will it spread to other stores? Will no. other stores no start way. doing this? Absolutely not. No, there's no way. Like the technology investment it would take to retrofit like a Cub Foods or a hy V. Oh, these yes. stores are so big. Like there's no way. I do think elements of this, like Christian said, might start showing up. Like wouldn't it be cool if you went shopping at the Cub and your budget is 125 bucks or something for your weeks of groceries? And as you put stuff in your cart, it you, kind of gives you the check. It told you how much it costs. Mm -hmm. that would or be like nice. it scans it as yeah. you go yeah. and kind of like a Costco when you at the end. You yeah. check. Like I think some of that might start popping up. Yeah. We'll but, the, but there are certain stores that people go to for the experience. You want the experience. Right. Those will still be around, don't yeah. you think? Oh, yeah. Just like we want our weather from a real person <laughs> instead An of from our phone. Person. Yes. That's right. Yeah.